Hello and welcome back to the watercolor lettering basic series. I'm Kylie of Kylie in Kentucky and today we are creating a final piece. This is the fifth and final part in the five part series. We're going to be taking all the things we've learned in the previous four videos and putting them to use today. First, I'm going to begin by sketching out on a regular piece of 8.5 by 11 copy paper my sketch for my finished piece. So I want to just create something really fun. I'm going to be using the um, rainbow blending technique that we learned in the fourth video. And this is just the very preliminary sketch that's going to take place before laying everything out and making adjustments. If you've watched any of my videos or followed me on Instagram, you know that Going over things like 20 times is just the way I do it. So I'm gonna be using my Cricut Bright Pad today to watercolor without pencil marks because that's a big part of creating a final piece is not having those gross pencil marks at the very end. So I always use a bright pad. You could use a light pad of any sort. You could put a flashlight under a glass coffee table or hold things up to a window. There are a lot of hacks to get around having to invest in a light pad, but this is the way I like to do it and I've done this in a ton of videos as well. So I just placed my watercolor paper on top of that piece of copy paper which is on the bright pad and I'm able to trace over with my watercolor exactly the design that I want to have for my final piece. And like I said, we're doing rainbow lettering so just sit back and enjoy the process and I'll touch base with you here in just a second. So I'm coming to the very end of creating this piece and for me this is basically the finish point. As soon as I'm done here with the tracing pad I'm basically done. I don't have to erase anything. Everything looks good. But just in case you don't have a light pad or any sort of way to trace, I wanted to show you what it looks like to try to erase pencil marks from underneath watercolor. So I have this really low quality cheap watercolor that I've been using this whole time. This is what it looks like when you take an eraser to it. It kind of rubs off, it definitely fades and smears everywhere, and it gets the paint all over your eraser, and obviously that's not good. But I am going to show you what it's like to erase pencil marks from beneath a more high quality watercolor. The pink watercolor that you see in the bottom right corner is Dr. PH Martin's Radiant Liquid Concentrated Watercolors, and I talk about that in the very first video, and I demonstrate with it as well. And the f you'll have to forgive me, the first part of me erasing the pencil marks from below was somehow cut off, but you can see here in just a second that the pencil marks actually come off really well, and there's just very minor fading. So you can see that here, that quality does make a difference when it comes to something like this. So I highly suggest investing in some nicer watercolors if you plan on selling them or if that's something that you're really conscious about. But basically, I mean, that's it for creating a final piece, honestly. You just lay out your design, you watercolor on top of it, 
and you can guarantee in the future I'm going to have a lot more videos on watercolor illustration, lettering, and everything else. So go back to the beginning, go through this five part series more than once for some practice, and let me know how your practice is going. I can't wait to see you again with another video. Bye!